Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father Max. Let us continue with our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As a family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph faced an uncertain world with faith. We celebrate their steadfast courage and commitment. Today we also celebrate the patron feast day of our parish. The Holy Family is our past, present, and future. Blessed with the grace of reconciliation, we come together as a family that constantly seeks forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are child of God and child of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are our brother and call us to be one family. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive us when we fail to love each other. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your Magdi God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children and when he prays is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who ob obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response is number 86. Blessed are those who love you, number 86. <clears throat> Blessed are those who see 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother. Flee to Egypt and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt, I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, 
he departed for the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazorean. The Gospel of the Lord. Christmas is not only one day, but a period of celebration until Epiphany, as part of the whole feast of Christmas. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Family. Let us consider today's solemnity in the in three aspects related one to the other. The first, today we honor the Holy Family of Nazareth, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Although they were chosen with predilection for a special mission, they were not exempt from the difficulties of daily life. We can contemplate and meditate on them fleeing from Bethlehem to Egypt and later on from Egypt to Nazareth. In the midst of their needs, fear and the struggles, they kept the faith in God and remained in unity. The humble and poor family of Nazareth is a mother for families of all times because their faithfulness to God. The second aspect of this solemnity is that as we contemplate the family of Nazareth, with them we celebrate the greatness of the gift of family and the importance of each one of its members, being the father or the mother or the child, is a special vocation. Will be helpful to go back to the first reading and the second reading at home and meditate on them. Today will be enough to make a quote from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which states, the Christian family is a communion of persons, a sign and image of the communion of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Each member of a family is called to reflect God's love. The last aspect of this solemnity is that today, my dear brothers and sisters, is also the patron feast of our parish. As a community of faith, we are called to be one great family where we all are brothers and sisters, loving and supporting one another, and where each one has a special place and a special mission for the, sal for the salvation of all, after the example of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. By experience, you know that it is not easy to be a perfect family, especially in these times of so many temptations. It was the same 
It was the same challenge for Joseph and Mary over 2,000 years ago. But they obeyed God and kept safe the baby Jesus when Herod was searching for the child to destroy him. In our modern time, Herod, the one who wants to destroy our family and our community of faith, has a different name, like, for example, drugs, immorality, disobedience, unfaithfulness, godless life, etc. 2,000 years ago, Herod was looking for children before two years old, under, sorry, under two years old. Now, Herod is looking for your children under 20 years old. Joseph took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. It means that we should take our family far away from dangers of this world and put them safe in God's hands. This is the challenge. Dear parents, sometimes it's, in, it's not, it is not easy for you to lead your children in this world. But let me tell you, let me remember you that you are not alone in this task. The church is with you. Christ, the Son of God, who took flesh, is with you. Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, help of Christians, is with you to protect you always. God's grace will be always with you if you remain faithful to God. To finish this homily, also let me tell this to you. The name of our parish is not only a name, is also our vocation. We are called to be one great family of faith. Every day, let us do our best to be a holy family after the example of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please stand. As one family, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, come substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the family of Jesus protected and nurtured him in every trial and, and circumstances. Let us now pray to our loving God who protects and nurtures us as well. the church that lives in our families and homes, for our families that we honor those who gave us life and those who cared for us, for those whose lives may be, must be protected, that we honor the elderly, cherish the young, and welcome new life to the world. For families torn apart by poverty and war, that refugees find a home, the hungry are fed, all young people educated, the unemployed given meaningful work, and that nations may be at peace. For Holy Family Parish on our feast day, that we may truly be a holy family of faith. For our diocesan sister parish, Holy Family in the Dominican Republic, that they may receive the help and support that they need. That the Lord's mercy will embrace those who have died, especially the deceased measure, members of Holy Family Parish and for Donald Klein, who died this past week. For those who are sick in our community and for those remembered at this mass, Mary Jo Schneider, and for all our own personal petitions. We pray. And gracious God, watch over and protect us and our homes. Strengthen the love which unites families in peace and joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our preparation song, number 457, Sing of Mary, number 457.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that, through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this all-filled mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours, and, and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that, raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. <laughs> Praise, Father, most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, he, you did not abandon him to the dominion of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look for word to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation. To prisoners, freedom. And to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death. And rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, May this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these gifts that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration 
of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified for you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of death. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your, hand, to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant, Francis our Pope, Jerome our Archbishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, you your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with your blessed Virgin, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, and with your, your apostles and saints in, in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <laughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, Informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ Keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Please join in singing our communion song. Number 966, When Love is Found, number 966. <coughs> Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May your Magdi God bless you all, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for your participation in this Sunday celebration. Have a wonderful family day, and let us keep working to make Holy Family Parish a great family of God. Thank you to all of those who helped to prepare this celebration. Brothers and sisters, go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing number 430, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 430. 